When I was in junior high school, I was asked to help lead the local vacation Bible school, well, our church vacation Bible school. We didn't have it at the church building that year. Instead, we went to the city park and we did things in stations. So there was a story station and a craft station and a game station. I don't remember what particular station I was assigned to, but I remember sort of the tree with the gazebo in the background. And I was assigned to work with Mary, who was in her late 60s or early 70s. And as a 12 year old, I assumed she was in charge and we did our station and it just sort of worked a little back and forth and here and there relying on one another. But after the fact, Mary came to me and she told me, I thought you were the leader. I thought you were in charge. And I was sort of stunned. Now looking back, I see the honor and privilege that Mary bestowed upon me. She, as an elder, my elder, saw me as capable and called. She didn't dismiss me because of my age, but she empowered me. Now, I, not knowing any better, didn't try and take charge. I just did the job that was assigned, and we worked together with pretty good balance. This week, or this last week at Vacation Bible School, we've had some of our kids leading. My daughter Ruth, who's 11, a number of our teenagers, and some of our elders, some of our senior members. Each one has had a role to play. Each one has had a job. Ruth has been working with Emma Banker. Now Emma's a high schooler and Ruth is going into sixth grade and she says, Emma's my leader. But next year, Tracy said I could be a leader. 12 year old girl leading at Vacation Bible School. For me, it's a helpful and important reminder that the work of the church belongs to all the generations, not just those who have seniority, not just those who've been here for however long, but each of us. Each of us are gifted, each of us are called, and each of us have work to do so that we can be better and stronger and growing together as the church. Friends, I invite you to continue to think about where and how God is calling you to serve. I also would encourage you to open your eyes a little bit, look around for who God might be calling you to follow. It may not be who you expect. And yet there may be gifts for both of you in working together for the kingdom of God. Take care, friends.